Franklin's Playbook is about a man that goes through circumstances and doesn't let them define him, but he defines himself through the circumstances that he goes through. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I'm excited. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I would love to. Yes, sir. <sighs> yes, sir. So who did the Packers trade up to get? Somebody get Jonathan Franklin. Yes, sir. Because he's going from UCLA. Yes, sir. I see you soon. All right. It's a dream come true. You know, my, my whole life I've been waiting for this moment, for this call, and for it to happen, it, it still just feel unreal. You know, as a kid, you know, just playing around, I thought about, you know, getting this phone call and just being able to play in the NFL and for it to happen, just words really can't describe how I feel right now. It's, it's a blessing. It is, it's been a long journey and I'm so thankful to be here and be in this position. It's been a stressful past two days, you know, uh, not knowing what's going to happen, when I'm going to go. It, it really just been, you know, letting go and just putting my faith in God and understanding that he has a plan. You know, and it's not in my control. You know, I've done my best and I just gotta let him handle the rest. You know, but things worked out. You know, I'm happy to be a part of a great organization and I, I can't wait to get out there and contribute to the team. We all have goals. And probably since he was a young boy playing football, his goal was not just to play in the NFL, but to be, you know, everyone wants to be a first round draft pick. And if you can't be a first round pick and then they're going through the second round and all of a sudden other running backs are getting picked who you know you're better than, it's natural, it's human nature that starts to affect you. There's going to be disappointment. But I think that the test is how quickly can you get over that disappointment and move on. And I think as soon as the phone rang and he found out the Green Bay Packers wanted him, I think a lot of that disappointment was gone. They drafted some guy from Alabama in front of him and Jonathan just sees it as another challenge. And he's met every challenge that life has given him and there's just no reason to think he won't meet this challenge. As a matter of fact, I know that he will. I'm planning to be in San Francisco on September 8th when they open at, at uh, the 49ers. So I'm taking my family up there. The fans out there are, are amazing. You know, they say it's like a college town. All they have is Green Bay. I can't wait to be a part of that and, and just feel that, that energy and that atmosphere. I mean, I'm so excited, but I'm so emotional. I don't know what to do or what to think right now. It's a blessing and I'm so excited to get back into some football. Now that he's in Green Bay, that's his job, and that's where he has to perform every single day. I've seen high draft picks be cut. I've seen free agents that were signed after the draft become starters, so they've got to perform. It's nice to think, okay, I've got a little bit of status here. They can enjoy that. They've worked really hard in their college career. This is probably the small window right now where they actually can enjoy, but once they show up on site, that's done with. I reached my dream, but my whole life wasn't to reach it. It was to stay living it. You know, so I just got to continue to work. You know, I can't change myself. I change who I am. I change my work ethic. Just got to keep working and keep pushing and just make a different goal board now, have different visions. But the grind does not change. Just stay hungry and never be satisfied. I think any time that you can go to the next level and, and have someone there that you already know, I think that's an added benefit. Um, you know, they've got somebody to lean on. They've known each other for a really long time. They've played together for a really long time. To be able to have that is going to be something that they're going to benefit from when you know they're in the middle of training camp and it's two a days and it's it's a grind. Not that these guys don't know how to grind, but it's going to be a different grind. And to have somebody to be to be able to walk over to them and pick them up maybe when they might be having a bad day, uh, I think you can't put a value on that. That bond you get in football, that accountability, that love, 
it's hard to find it anywhere else. You know, it's nothing like it. You can't really describe it, you know. You grow so much with the guys. You're with them every day. You learn about them. You grow with them. You know, you cry with them. You know, you go through hard times with them. And they're there for you all the time. They're like brothers. All those guys in the locker room are brothers to me. And I'm excited to meet some more and add some more people to my family. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. I just got that phone call. I, <laughs> man. It, <sighs> I, I, can, I, I can barely talk right now. It, it, it's really a blessing. You know, I'm about to, like, I'm about to start crying. It's, it, it's a blessing to, to be in this position. It's been a long, a long journey. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful, and I'm excited to be a part of Packer Nation. They gave me a call. First, the general manager, he had gave me a call, and, he said, we're going to trade up right now. We're, we're about to pick you up. And from then on, I just started crying. I mean, that was a blessing. And uh, then I spoke to Coach McCarthy, and he just said, come ready to work. He said, congratulations, but get ready to work. And uh, I was just excited. You know, I, I can't really even explain in words how my emotions was just moving. You know, it was so exciting and one of the best phone calls I ever got in my life. To be able to go to Green Bay with Dayton is so great. You know, somebody to be accountable for somebody to push push me and then have an expectation in me and just understand who I am and understand how to keep me going and understand how to keep me focused and not be afraid to do it not be afraid to be like come on Jet you better keep working you know he better stop playing so uh, I'm so thankful and I'm sure he feels the same way and it's gonna be exciting to get up there and work with him one thing I've learned with Dayton and with Coach Moore is all we gotta do is get better every day every day you gotta renew yourself every day you gotta break it down the wall and get better take a step to greatness or take a step to your dream. Get better, get better, get better. No matter what awards you get, how many people know you, what you achieve, you gotta get better. You can never get to the mindset that I made it. Because when you get there, you're all done. It's gonna be your last day the next day probably. So you gotta keep working and gotta get better. Right now we're at the rookie premiere. It's a four-day event with the top 40 marketable rookies that just got drafted to the NFL. And we're at the Rose Bowl right now where we came for a couple of photo shoots and trading card deals and signings. And first day we put on our full uniform with the helmet, shoulder pads, pants, cleats, and it blew me away. It's truly a blessing. And now that's everything actually happening and you know coming to picture, it's crazy. You're watching Franklin's Playbook. Just leave a comment. I promise I'll get back to you. Just, just leave it right there. Just say hello. Anything. Whatever you want to say. Just talk to me. Thanks for watching. Why? What did you just say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>